Well, it is an absolutely amazing morning. I know I had got an absolute amazing sleep, but today we we're off carp fishing. Um, but we might have to waylay our plans because looking at the Met Office weather, well, it's not looking so good. Let's have a look outside and get out of bed. Ugh. Open the curtains, obviously. Let's have a look outside. Okay, it's not actually raining at the moment. It looks wet, but it's not raining. Okay, that's actually a good sign. I think heavy downpour is meant to come in about four o'clock in the afternoon, and we're going to take the bivvy. But at the moment, I'm just waiting for phone call from that phone because Dad's phoning me to. So we're taking, we just need to sort plans out. We'll probably be leaving about 10 o'clock. It's not going to be an early session. Give me time to have a bit of a lay in after having quite a few busy days working and fishing. But, without further to do, let's get cracking. Breakfast first! Woo! Let's get devouring. Well, just about to leave. Dad's coming to pick me up. Go and get all the gears on the barrel ready. We just gotta put it in the bat and then Andy. Get my brother. We'll be there by 11 o'clock. Have a nice little afternoon session. So, about that, let's get cracking. Oi! Paul's tea over. Well, the wind is slowly picking up, and I only had that one fish in about two hours now. I'm not worrying. I feel like they always come two o'clock onward. I stay until about four ish, I think. Don't quote me on that. Got my two rods out with the old fox bite alarms. And I'm using back leads because I feel like this time of year they get a bit wary. Got one rod placed off the point over there. Been a good spot. And one fish sort of in between that stick and that lily pad. Just back about 10 foot off that. Then we got Paul's rods. He's got one rod off the island about there-ish. And he's got little, he got big old carp bait up method feeder at about, so there's the island, about the centre of the screen. He has another knee, and then of course, can't forget about the other fisherman over there. That's got his two feeder rods out after the calf as well. His feeder does work here. How oh, we can catch? Fish 
Oh, I can't lately. Right well on. Well, look at that camera. Nine pounds. And well, just had the second fish. Just got it pictured and let him go. Let's hope for another. Oh, it's been quite a while and it's been absolutely rubbish. But two fish and now it's just gone quiet, which I expected it to. No fish showing. Paul hasn't had any and Dad has had one foul looked roach. So, there you go. Oh, and he did, he did lose one as well. A carp, it sadly got in the lilies and because he, he was only using a feeder, went ping. But I think the fish spat it into the lily because it stopped moving. Um, hopefully we can catch one. Oh, it's 4.18 and it's been quite all afternoon. Not good. Well, after the wind and the rain comes in. Oh, what's in the full lock? <laughs> it's not like you stand at a single chance anyway in this snatch anymore. Come on, Mr. Common. No, no, it's not. Shake your head and get that hook out. Too look. What? Where are you, babe? Bring you up here. <sighs> Lovely way to end the session. Woo! Well, that's the end of the session, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Um, if you haven't already, check out my quest for a monster pike. Episode one and episode two is up now. So, obviously, check them out. And if you like this video, like, subscribe, turn the bell on if you want to. I'm not forcing you to. I'm not going to be like one of these beggars. I don't care. But if you enjoyed it, thank you. You would support me. Have a nice rest of your day, everyone. Ta ta!